Today I fucked up, by almost having a gay threesome with my cousin and his husband. Didn't happen today, on mobile, throwaway account etc. My job requires me to travel a lot between the USA and Canada, I have a 50-50 client split between the two places, so although I am based in Los Angeles, I fly into Toronto every few weeks. All of my family and friends are also in LA, and I'm from a very conservative background, so when I realized at about age 12 that the thought of both girls and boys made me want to fiddle with my diddle, I kept the latter quiet to avoid being disowned by my father or giving my mom a heart attack. I've had plenty of girlfriends before and they're happy, I'm happy and there's no need to change that. Anyway. I headed out to Toronto last Friday morning for a few meetings. Every now and then, I'll have meetings Friday and Monday, so I'll stay the weekend and have a little bit of a holiday, in a nice hotel somewhere. At about 4pm on Friday, I had finished my work, checked into my hotel and was feeling a bit horny. Anyone in the bi community will know it's easier to pick up guys than girls, so I downloaded Grindr, created an account, uploaded a few pictures, without my face, half because I'm ugly and half because I don't want to be recognized, and did some browsing. Some 20-ish minutes in, I got a message. This guy was about my age, didn't have a picture, but gave me a description of himself and he sounded like a good way to spend my Friday night. We start to make a plan for 7pm and he mentions he's married and asks if I'd be interested in his husband coming along and having a little threesome action. Now a threesome wasn't on my to-do list, but I'll give anything a go once so I said what the hell. Anyways, it comes around to 6.30pm and I get a call. I have two SIM cards in my phone, one from Canada, and one from the USA. It's my cousin who lives in Canada. I only speak to this guy probably two to three times a year, so it's a little weird, but not any cause for concern or anything and I was a bit busy at the time with some prep, so I let it go to VM. 60 seconds later, a text, from my cousin. Hi it's xxxxx from Grindr, we're two minutes away, okay if we're a bit early? It took me about 30 seconds, but it clicks. Canada? Gay married cousin. The description matches. Holy fucking shit, I just organized a threesome with my cousin. I sat there in the bathroom, trying not to have a panic attack for a few minutes until my phone rings again. Now obviously I'm not going to answer it, and I'm just praising God that I gave him my Canadian number over Grinder that he didn't have, and that I had him saved in my phone. The room phone begins to ring as well. Holy shit. I swear to God, I have never put on clothes so fast and bolted down 30 floors of stairs so fast. At the bottom of the staircase, I was straight through that fire door and hid in the nearest McDonald's for the next 4 hours. 14 missed calls, 10 from my cousin, 4 from hotel reception, and I took the SIM card out of my phone and snapped it in half. Found a new hotel room that night just in case. Have to come up with an excuse for work and my clients as to why I need a new Canadian number, but I think it was better than the other option. Too long didn't read, went to Canada for work, wanted a quick hookup, didn't do my due diligence and almost ended up having a threesome with my gay cousin and his husband, ran away and hid in a McDonald's for 4 hours. I think the extra precaution of snapping the SIM card in half was unnecessary but fucking hilarious. No one must know. I'm writing this today I fucked up from the smoldering ruins of the McDonald's I burned down to cover my tracks. Before anyone asks why not just explain to him what's up instead of going through all this effort to dodge slash ghost. Don't forget, Op doesn't want anyone in the family to know he's bi. Even though the cousin would be cool with it, most likely, some gay people are weird about that, it would still present another source for the information to accidentally get out. You could still just text, hey dude, something came up and I can't meet. Also there is so much identifying information in this post that now everyone in his family will know that he's bi. Wouldn't you have your name in your voicemail message if it was a business number? Asking the real questions here, plus the reception have his name as well, although I'm not sure if they would hand it out. Gay men in Toronto, tens of thousands. Dot. Married gay men into with cousins in LA, dozens. Married gay men in Toronto with cousins in LA who tried to set up a spicy three-way last weekend and called the stranger ten times after being stood up, my money says one. 
Dot. Your cousin finding this thread and making sneaky candid comments at the next family gathering, priceless. Bot. Edit, obligatory thanks for making my top comment about avoiding an incestual orgy. Can't wait to call my mom and share the news. Op having switched up all the locations, 4D chess. I love how he goes nuclear and snaps his SIM card. Not being out to your family makes you do some shit. Today I fucked up by not wearing a bra. Today was a lounging, do nothing day. I, 22, watched some Netflix in the living room while my brother, 24, played games in his room and my older brother, 27, had work. The evening came, my brother came home from work and went to talk with my other brother in his room. My mom called to ask what ingredients we had around the house so she can pick up stuff for dinner. An hour later she called to let me know she'll be home soon and my brothers and I have to dispute who has to help her bring groceries in. I went to my brothers, hey, you two have to pick which one of you have to help mom bring groceries in. She'll be home in 5 minutes. I walked away like I was so clever, not including myself as an option. Why doesn't she help? I hear one say to the other. I don't know, the other says. A few minutes pass and the two of them came out of the room and approached me on the couch. You grab the arms, I'll grab the legs. Yup. My older brother grabbed my ankles and the other my arms. I made it a little difficult though, I stiffened, which is probably easier, and I crossed my arms holding my elbows close to my torso so he didn't have anywhere to hold except a poor grip on my shoulders. Being the weak noodle I am, I couldn't hold my arms in long enough. He grabbed my upper arms and they carried me toward the stairs to the front door. I half expected they wouldn't bring me outside, but I knew they would go all the way even when I had no jacket or shoes. I didn't want to be carried awkwardly down the stairs, so as we got closer, I struggled. I kicked my legs with little effort because I didn't want to hurt anyone, and since that didn't really work I had an idea. Risky? I lifted my arms straight up so my brother's hands would lose grip and drop me. I dropped slowly since he was still trying to hold me with my arms up. I was wearing a long sleeve bunched at my elbows, but as I hit the floor I realized my shirt had lifted. My sleeves must have been pulled off my arms, lifting the rest. It was over. My ankles were released. I put my now freed hands down over my chest and feel my nipple. Yup. The brother by my feet definitely saw. I noticed he was looking away at the moment, but I was sure he saw when it happened. Thankfully I am small chested, so I'm not as embarrassed as someone else would be. But it is still awkward to think about. P. S. Sorry bro. Too long didn't read, decided not to wear a bra today. My brother saw my nipple. Edit, I was home for the holidays from college, moving into a new place with my fiancé this May. My brothers help support our single mom. Stop assuming people are fuck-ups, thumbs up. Why do people assume so many negative things Lamau? Probably will delete this post within a few days. It's obvious, with my previous edits, that most of you don't read before commenting. I also don't know how this got so many upvotes but here I am. Till that r slash that happened exists hashtag readynoob. Thanks for front paging my first post, for the awards, and for the rare positive comments. Dot. Please remember rule 4. There's no reason to be mean. But who brought in groceries? My brothers did but they put the groceries on me when I was on the couch lol. Is there an increasing scale of embarrassingness with boob size? I'm sure Dimitri Martin has a graph chart for this. Hey, your sister's hot. Yeah, I've seen her boob. Not even boobs. Just boob. That was a power move. Embarrassing, but still powerful. That's my fucking tit, bitch. Today I fucked up by cussing out 916 people. This happened last night. So I'm a theater kid at my high school and our first night of our play was last night. The day before, everyone on the cast was given brand new lav microphones, the wire mics that you tape to your face. Unfortunately, I didn't know this. See, the old mics were only activated by the sound director, meaning it only worked if a switch on the sound board was flipped. The new ones, however, 
turn on automatically when you pass a certain area on stage. I think you can kind of see where this is going. So anyways, there was one part where I had to strip my costume, button down shirt and khakis essentially, and change into a very PG-13 toga costume, then put my original costume back on as quickly as possible. So after I get up on stage, do my cute little toga thang, rush back off stage to return to my original outfit. Once I was off stage, I began changing directly in front of the door I had just exited. This was because I had forgotten that someone else had to get on stage before I returned. So this asswipe rushes past me, and with the force of Thor Almighty, and swings the door wide open, exposing my escheat to the entire cast and a good 40% of the audience. I freaked the fuck out and turned into Patrick fucking star as I ran to shut the door. Here's the F you. So here I am, half naked, shivering, super embarrassed, I reached out to grab the doorknob. I made eye contact with the guy who had just made me flash all these poor people, and I instinctively gave him a good old fashioned American motherfucker. I swear to fucking god the door stretched as I was reaching for the doorknob, because next thing I know, I was on stage, pants still down, and heard a sea of gasps flood the auditorium. Turns out the mic boundary was just barely past where I was standing. So yes, the cast, the crew members above and behind me, as well as the 860 plus wonderful audience members heard me loud and clear. On top of that, I didn't just say it, I screamed, so that shit echoed and bounced off the walls like crazy. Here's what it was like from the audience's perspective. Say, do you like canned salmon? I'm quite fond of it, yes. Door opens. Oh, there he is. This is my husb. Skinny Asian boy with red boxers waddles on stage. Motherfucker to the power of f -ucker carrot fucker carrot fucker. Door slams. Well? How do you do madam? Safe to say I'll never be in another production at my school again. Too long didn't read, I unintentionally flashed like 200 people, then waddled with my pants at my ankles to close the door, screamed a vulgar word, and became the most infamous theatre student at my school. In words of the old western prospectors, gold. Yeehaw woo? Thanks, stranger. Edit okay I don't know how mics work, sorry. Another edit if you know who I am. Shh. And another numbers? Today I made the play I was in 100% more entertaining. Or. Today I gave the crowd their money's worth. I had a couple friends in theater. One was playing a somewhat creepy old man character. My other friend, off stage, says fucking pedophile while standing a little too close to someone's mic. It felt like fucking pedophile echoed through the auditorium for a good 5 minutes as I laughed my ass off. I did a similar thing in HS with my lapel mic backstage. The guy working the board didn't mute me so the entire play and audience heard half my Burger King order before they realized I was hot mic D. I'll have two number nines? Dot. You won the theater? Ladies and gentlemen that concludes tonight's production. Please tell me at least one of the people in the audience was recording this. Also, my condolences. I find it weird that there wasn't a Redditor recording there.